Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be inspecting the Southampton squads and finances and overall setup. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit that subscribe button and keep you bang up to date with all FM related content going forward. Now I try to do each and every Premier League team over the next day or so. Um, and I tried last night to do them all, but I couldn't. My tiredness beat me to it. But I'm here now with Southampton. So let's jump straight in with the start of this vid. That's right, folks. Back once again with another overview of the new Football Manager 2018 game. And should you consider Southampton, this will give you a quick insight to what's, in, what's, what's at stake for you, what you're going to be working with, that kind of stuff. So let's jump straight in and take a look at your home screen and what the computer has decided will be my pre-season. Uh, trip to Hungary, Fenish Varos, pre-season. Then we have a visit of Belgique side AA Ghent. And then we have, looks like, is this China? Looks like we're off to China, folks. Uh, Taking a couple of Chinese side and an Italian side to, to right mix it up a bit. That's right. So, a whole mixed bag of, bag of tricks here. Hungary, Belgium, visit, off to Italy, then off to China. How about the financial clout? How much money will Southampton have in their coffers for the season? Not a bad, not a bad start. Looks like you got 30 million to start with, 1.64 million in wages, uh, and you seem to have a similar scouting budget as to everybody else in the Prem. Uh, you can make slight tweaks, crank that up to 34 million, but that's going to take a take a chunk of your wages. Um, but not bad, considering some of the other sides in this division. Um, you might have some options to sell some players should you not like any of them or they don't fit your style, all that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at the under-18s set up at Southampton. Uh, any standouts? Um, I'm not familiar with Southampton, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, you got a right youngster here, Nigerian, 15 years old. Um potential ability look at that knocking on knocking on five stars so you've got to kind of wrap this guy in cotton wool uh, for the next four years or so maybe get him on a long longer term deal when that becomes available um he looks pretty decent who else do we have this norwegian fella 16 years old uh meh he's got got some uh, ability in the pipeline if you jump into the uh, delorean maybe you can get to, to to see some quality from him um what else do we have? Look at this. Let's check out. Let's have a look at the most valuable player is. We have Harry Hamblin, 17 years old, 38,000 bucks. Let's have a look how much what potential ability he has. Oh, it's not that great. It's not that stunning. 17 years old, though. Time is on his side. Uh, I want to have a look at the Slovakian behemoth. Three stars, possible. Anyhow, that's a quick glance at uh, your under 18s. Let's have a look at your under 23 squad. Uh, just like a lot of other other squads, if you're not in the th if you're not in the 23, you're going to be in here. Uh, they've got a 36-year-old goalkeeper, Stuart Taylor. He's been around a while, and he's been at Southampton. Uh, just he must have been brought on a backup basis. He's only been here a couple of seasons. Harry Lewis out on loan. Um, any major players? Any heavy hitters? I don't see many 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 heavy hitters let's have a look um, at the value of players okay we've got Jordy class he's on loan he's gone out to Club Rouge didn't really feature in the previous management's um, plans Matthew Target 21 years old still youngster he's wanted by Hull possibly on a loan deal Sam Gallagher I know him well uh, he was at Rovers scoring 11 goals in our illustrious relegation campaign so Decent player. He's currently on loan at Birmingham, which I feel is not the greatest move for him. I think they're going to be struggling. Uh, Josh Sims also wanted by he's wanted by 13 different clubs. So um, another youngster likely to be on his way out, on, at least on a loan deal. Um, so, but this, it's not bursting with 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 value. So you might want to uh, consider selling some of these these guys. Let's have a look at your main squad. Um, 
couple of decent goalkeepers there, Fraser Forster, Alex McCarthy. You can only play one of them. You can only play one of them, so maybe you can flog one of the other ones and, and generate eh, maybe 10, 10 to 15 million, depending on who you sell. Van Dijk, you still have him, and he is a whopping 50 million. If I was in your boots, I'd get rid of that fella. Bring in the coffers, take, what is it, 90% of that? You know, you're going to be looking at 40 odd million to burn um, on something decent. Because I think you are going to lack some areas. I think your midfield is decent, but your your forward line is not the greatest. Uh, Romeo, 20 million. He's rated. He's wanted by a lot of the big hitters here. Maybe you can push that towards 40 uh, million. Um, but let's have a look at the most expensive player. Obviously, Van Dyke is up there. Tadic is a decent player. He could also, you know, should you decide to to sell some of your quality and, and, and get the cash and build your own side, then I would go down that road. Um, meanwhile, what about contract situations? A couple of players here, only two. So they've got, their, they've got their situation in order. Jeremy Peed, I'm not too sure if I pronounced that right. He is wanted by Chris Palace and Inter and Florin Garados. If we can say that better. Florin Gardos is also wanted by them weirdos down the road at Burnley. Um, so you might want to consider getting rid of them off the books now while you have the chance to get some money off them. Um, moving forward, let's take a look at the competition situation. The board want you to be in the top half of the Premier League. Well, with the transfer kit they've currently provided you, it might be a stretch. But I think if you made some sales, you might be able to uh, strive towards that, if not better. Uh, FA Cup, the board want you to get to at least the fifth round. And uh, an elite cup, not really bothered about it, but you do it in the second round. You know, that's that's a possible um, avenue for for Saints fans is the league cup. You know, get in there, get back in Europe, that sort of stuff. Maybe take it a little bit more seriously than others. Team report, a lot of text here. If you want to take a pause and, and read it for yourself, get stuck in there. For me, I'm gonna just carry on and look at your squad depth. Left back, oh my goodness, how much is he worth, Ryan Bertrand? It's knocking on 20 million. Meh, I think I think that's a bit underrated. I think he should be in today's market. He should be closer to 30. Uh, but that is an area of, of, of obvious weakness. Something you probably want to rectify. Because your backup, Sam McQueen, should he go out? It's, it's decent, but probably I'm sure you could get a more suitable player for that role. Up front, like I said, um... In the real world, Charlie Austin is a decent player, but I think, you know, realistically, you want a more four-star striker. Um, I'm not sure who you would get, but Gabby Dini started off the season in, in, in the real world, decent enough, but he, uh, he, kind of, he kind of trailed off towards the back end of last season and the start of the season. Shane Long can score goals. Is he prolific enough? Not too sure. Um... Redmond, and he's not a striker. He's more of an attacking midfielder in my eyes. So, don't know where they get that from. Um, but, yeah. So, there's some areas that you might want to check out. Let's have a look at the dynamics. The dressing room atmosphere is pretty on the on, on the plus side. So, you know, you don't want to rock the boat too much. So you know, it's kind of going against what I'm saying, I guess. Maybe the, the strong end of keeping Van Dijk is, is, has been good for the rest of the club let's take a look at some of the leaders on your team or on your roster steve davis currently skipper shane long and maya yashinda your possible leaders uh where's van dyke van dyke's in the middle there but is he has he got his head screwed on we'll find out in just a second uh your key social groups core social group this bunch here whole host of folks um pick your mentors pick your mentors uh wisely because you know you don't want to pick a player who who obviously doesn't want to be here um you want someone who's who's tried and trusted who's been there from the the beginning i remember when cedric i think it was cedric was there back in the day when they were in league one i think he's now a portuguese european uh cup winner with portugal um so that goes to show what a bit of hard work will get will get you um happiness core happiness of the club Pretty decent. Steve Davis is pretty much on par where you want to be. Superb. As for Gabbiadini, just the same. So, you know, overall, not bad. Where's Van Dyke? 
Where are you? Where are you, son? Extremely good. Hmm, that's uh, that's reassuring. Anyway, that's pretty much all I've got for you there. If there's something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League team over the next few days. However, if there's a team out there, if you want me to check out one of these Chinese teams or something like that, uh, just let me know. Put another scribble in the comment section and I'll try and do it for you. Only takes me just a second. Moving forward, once the initial craziness of the beta and the actual FM18 game calms down a bit, I plan to check out some game saves. Uh, so please check back on those. I've got some cracking storylines in the pipeline. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.